So I hope you can see that some of these babies are hatching. They are hatching from their eggs. And I'm looking really close. And I'm seeing a couple black spots on the eggs. That could be OE, and that would be really bad. But anyways, these caterpillars are alive and they're looking good, so I'm gonna give them some milkweed. Okay, bye, love you, see you later, bye. Do you see this bug? This bug is very bad. It eats the monarchs. It eats them. So it eats the dried ones. So if you got a monarch skeleton, like an exoskeleton, if you've got one lying around, be careful because this bug eats it. And that's why, excuse me, some of these babies are glued together in weird ways. It's because they got eaten and I had to glue them back together. So just thought I'd let you know that now I'm going to make a little hydration chamber with the power of pine salt, baby, which I put like half to a third in this. We've got paper towels and we've got a refrigerator and freezer. And we've got lots of happy butterflies, don't get me wrong. There's lots of happy butterflies. They're flying around, they're doing well. They just bounce off the walls. They've got little nectar, nectar stations to drink from. Still flying, still flying. Look at him go. It's bouncing around. Okay, I have to make these hydration chambers like right now. So, see you in a second. Bye. You can see right in it, in the hole. Anyways. Hopefully that's the only one. I also picked out this guy. I'm like 90% sure that it's one from the same generation as these others, including the one down here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Butterflies have died this season so far, and they're among the first generation. And I think a couple of the second generation. That means the first caterpillars came from wild butterflies that laid eggs in the milkweed. We brought the caterpillars in, fed them milkweed. They became butterflies. Second generation was getting milkweed then squash this guy may have fallen and that's why the wings are crumpled or it could be crumpled because it had maybe like a virus or a parasite or something so but the other butterflies don't have crumpled wings but also since not long after that they they haven't really been able to get through pupa stage, except for a couple. So anyways, these are all butterflies from two years ago, because um, I skipped a year to do uh, after school art program with kids. Middle school, in fact, so. But we uh, are not doing the middle school anymore. We are back to butterflies. Oh, and a lot of these are first generation, second generation, which is like, again, two years ago and three years ago. 
But we have lots of live butterflies. Lots of live butterflies that are happy. Their wings aren't even, look, this one's wings aren't even broken at all. Not, neither is that one, neither is that one. So I do see butterflies drinking, pile of milkweed with old leaves and eggs and new leaves. They literally like this corner the best to lay eggs. That guy may have aged out of life, so everything, you, if, if that one did die, sorry if I'm being morbid, but if that one did die, I gotta pin it fast before it dries out. Uh, so anyways, I've got, two hydration chambers set up so far. I'm, I'm doing my third one, but I wanted to stop to do the, the viewing of the beetle, which I found the answer on Reddit. I know what it is, but it's, it's like not really good. Um, they're really dry and I couldn't put them in a good position. So they're just kind of spread out with wet paper towel with pine saw. Um, and hopefully it'll dry, it'll absorb water and I can pin them. Otherwise, they're just gonna be be like that, like weirdo positions. But at least love pine saw. That's power of pine saw, baby. Good night, refrigerator. Okay guys, so here's the hydration chambers. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten containers. And each one has two or three butterflies each. Most of them have three, so that's that. The butterflies from two years ago are rehydrating with water and pine saw. And then you guys are gonna laugh. These are the already pinned butterflies. I put them in the freezer because I don't want any pests on them, you know? So I have a mask on because the pine saw was really strong. So hopefully the caterpillars are not affected. Let's take a look. Maybe I shouldn't even open this, but we have caterpillars eating happily, milkweed, butternut squash tower. I take out the old ones and put in new ones today. Always zip closed. These are the butterflies that I've pinned already. Some more that I put in resin. That was a, a struggle. Pinned butterflies. Lots of painted ladies, as you can see. I had like a lot of experience doing painted ladies. Some more butterflies. Some more butterflies, some more butterflies. Oh, and sage. I'm gonna go outside and cut some sage because the sage, it's just so much that I wanna cut it back, so. That's what I'm going to go do now. See you guys later. Hope you learned something. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Hydration chamber. Yeah. On the count of three, snap your fingers and say abracadabra. Clap your hands. One, two, three. Boom. <laughs>